Hello, I'm Joe Bloffus with c &B Operations Precision Ag Consultant covering the Jackson, Truman, and St. James areas. Today we're going to be covering AutoTrack Vision and RowSense. What is AutoTrack Vision and RowSense? AutoTrack Vision is cameras that are mounted on the sprayer or the tractor to view the plants as it goes down the field. AutoTrack RowSense uses paddles that will help guide the sprayer between the rows in late season crop. What are the advantages of AutoTrack RowSense and Vision? The advantages are less crop damage, higher sprayer speeds, less operator fatigue, so the operator can concentrate on machine functions. AutoTrack Vision is used in fields with no available guidance lines. It also compensates for planter or GPS drift with guidance lines. So let's look at possible crop damage. At 36,000 seeds per an acre, at 12 miles an hour, you can run over 73 plants. At 15 miles an hour, you can run over 91 plants. And at 18 miles an hour, you can run over 109 plants. That's a lot of money that you can invest in using RowSense or Vision Track. A couple of examples with AutoTrack Vision and how they're mounted is the left picture shows a Vision Track camera mounted on the right side of a sprayer right below the cab. On the right picture, it shows a camera mounted on a tractor on the underside of the receiver. What are the specs of Vision Track? It allows the machine to follow straight rows in corn and soybeans. You can use AutoTrack Vision in three to five inch crop until near canopy. AutoTrack Vision follows a well-defined row. This certain technology is approved for 20 to 40 inch crop row. So in the picture here, I'm gonna show you a couple of the diagnostic boxes and what they mean. So the first one is a white dashed line. What is the white dashed line? It indicates the center of the row. The next one is the blue solid line. This one indicates center of the wheel, which is defined during the calibration process. In the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see an icon with two feelers. With those, you can see different colors and what they mean. So on the chart on the right-hand side, the gray means the system is installed. And on the green, it shows that the system is active and operating with both row sensor and GPS. If the icon is yellow, that means it has lost GPS and is operating with row sensor data only. The orange icon shows that there is a loss of row sensor signal and operating with GPS only. And remember, on yellow or orange, your guidance accuracy will be diminished. So now we're gonna go to the 4600 display and I'll show you some of the features and some of the diagnostics of how we can help you with your row sense. We are in an F790 combine right now and we're gonna go to our guidance page and we're gonna go to advanced settings. This is where we're gonna find row sense. Here's your row sense. If it is off, then you can turn it on. If it's off, you won't be able to change between row entry modes. You can click on here you have two different options for row entry mode manual steer is steering into the row and then using the resume button to select row sense or you could select gps steer and use a guidance line that will steer you in if you are having troubles going into the row and hitting the resume button and it moves you over very quickly over to one side or the other turn off the GPS steer and go to manual steer. This will help solve that problem. Status and settings. Status and settings, you can look and see if your guidance track is selected, GPS signal adequate, row sense sensor voltage is okay, and row sense sensor is unable to detect crop. We have a folding corn head right now, so it will not detect crop, and resume auto track is not engaged. That would be your last option to choose. Under calibration, this is where you'd calibrate the sensors if you are having troubles. Here you would begin the calibration. Go ahead and go to calibration process, read the instructions and begin calibration. This will take less than one minute to calibrate and follow the instructions. If you are having troubles with your row sense, veering off to the left or the right, you do have a sensor offset and you can click the arrows. If you're veering off to the right too much, you can go left or vice versa. This will help correct your row sense sensitivities. 
you can also click the zeroed out button to go back to the default. On the map side, you can also go into the row sense indicator or icon. And here you can get into the settings. Here it is on standby mode. So your GPS or your row sense feelers are not engaged. We'll also go under guidance, advanced settings. And if you're still having troubles with your row sense, if you scroll down to auto track steering optimization, and click here. This will bring you into your steering adjustments where you can change steering adjustments here. If you'd like to set your settings back to the factory defaults, you can click this button here. Here's a picture of Auto Track Row Sense. This is for later season canopied corn. So, as you can see, the paddle itself is touching the corn and it will down the rows and it will fold and bend so it does not damage crop. What are the compatibility requirements? This system works with the John Deere 2630 monitor, Gen 4 displays of the 4640 and 4600 models, the 3000 or 6000 receivers. It also requires a RoSense or Premium 3.0 activation in the display. So which tractor models are compatible with Vision Track? Most 30 series tractors or also the 8R series tractors, including 7R. John Deere sprayers are also included. The 4630, 4730, 4830, 4940, and all four series sprayers. Hagee sprayers are also compatible with this. Auto Track Vision is compatible with model year 2014 and newer. Let's talk about required display activations. The Gen 4 4600 processor with Gen 4 Command Center Premium Activation 3.0. On the 4640 Universal Display, you would need a premium 3.0 subscription that is a one-year subscription. For the 2630 Green Star display, you would need AutoTrack and AutoTrack RowSense activations. Thank you for joining us today. Today we talked about AutoTrack RowSense and Vision Track, about the capabilities and the compatibility. If you have any questions, please contact your CMB operations dealer. Thank you.